Hi, I'm Ian and welcome back to Astro Time Traveller. In this video, I'm going to show how I think ZWO have just really improved the capability of plate solving to a target with the ASI Air. Now I use the ASI Air Pro, and if you've seen some of my previous videos, I've shown you that there is a little bit of inaccuracy when it is plate solving to a target. And particularly when I was doing a mosaic of the Orion and Horsehead Nebula, it was slightly going off what I was expecting it to actually hit. And I was testing it against Telescopius coordinates to Astrometry coordinates after the image was taken. And there seemed to be a bit of inaccuracy. And I know a number of other YouTubers have also raised this issue. But I'm pleased to say, I think ZWO have tackled this. In their latest firmware update, I think 1.8, they seem to improve this considerably. And I'll show in this video a number of examples using M33, the Elephant Trunk, and the Flaming Star Nebula, how the accuracy has got really close on to target and is much, much better than it was before. So I'm really pleased to see what ZWO have done. And in answer to the question, is it more accurate? I think the answer is definitely yes, it is. And hopefully this video will show that to you. I'll use these examples and I'll summarise the coordinates and the differences between coordinates expected and actually delivered compared to what it was previously to show that I think ZWO have really hit the mark and have improved the accuracy of their plate solving to target. So here's the ASI Air Pro for me. And if we just go into the eye, we can see the firmware. So this is the 1.8 new features tab. And if we go down that tab, although there's the early bits are about the moon, we can see down towards the bottom, it talks about other aspects. And in particular, it talks about optimizing the accuracy of the center dash go to. And I think this is what's really creating the improvement in the plate solving when we go to a target. And we'll see that in the rest of the images that I'm going to be taking. So here I am uh, just finishing uh, an earlier version on my Batonov mask. So getting my star into focus. And what I'm going to show is how after I've done that, I then move to a target. And as you know, on the ASI Air, it shows you the plate solving. So I'm now just going to Capella and you can see it is plate solving and getting very close to the coordinates that it requires. But then the more important piece is then when I go on from the star that I use for actually um, getting my focus to moving into a particular target. And in this particular case, I'm gonna to go to M33, but I'm gonna first off just go to M33 using uh, the standard approach. So if I just go into the preview mode and then pick M33, so go on to that target, and then click go to, and now we can see the mount starting to move. And what I've seen previously is when you've got the target and the current, the current isn't always quite as accurate as the target it's meant to be. But now you'll see it gets much closer. So previously I've seen it um, possibly a minute out, certainly a number of seconds on both the RA and the deck. But here what we'll see as it swings round, it's gonna get very close to both of them. And it, Takes a little while, this is a, a big move around to get to M33, but you can see on the deck, it's now pretty much saying it's dead on the 30, 40, 60, 11. And on the RA, it's coming into the one hour, 35 minutes, and it says eight seconds instead of seven seconds. So that's pretty accurate if it is actually lining up to be that. And we'll see later in the video when I've actually tested this with astrometry that it is pretty accurate. So it's a lot better than I think it previously was. Now clearly, as you know, it, it goes through a number of steps to try and validate that it's on center for the target. And finally, it's got there. So effectively, that's the last we see on there because one of the things you can't do, you can plate solve here when you're actually in the preview, but if you go into the auto run or the plan, you can't plate solve, which would be a, a good feature to have just to check the accuracy when you're actually into the auto run or into the plan mode. So I just took a slightly longer exposure here uh, and you'll see that's just now loading up 
And then what I can do is I can do a quick uh, plate solve on that if I wanted to. But what I then did was I wanted to move on from just doing the preview version of M33 into using my plan version. I took a 60 second exposure and I, I just did a plate solve there. You can, or I did a rerun to go to M33. Um, and then I was ready to move on to the plan mode as I preset my coordinates. And here you see them, we'll see them later. I'll summarize them um, both in the Air Pro, but also from Telescopias and from Astrometry. And then as I go in and set up the plan running, you click here and it will start to move the mount across. And again, what we can see is how accurate is that? So here we are on M33, clearly it was close enough to start with, but it's getting back very close to that center point. And it's saying again, it's about one second off from the targets that uh, I had put in for M33. So if that's the case, then that's very accurate. And I think within a, a very small tolerance if I wanted it to be. So it just takes a while to actually get to do the validation and it will take a little time to do that. And of course, once it's done that, it will then start uh, counting down once it's got guiding going to actually taking the plan mode. So I won't go through all of that and wait uh, five minutes to, to get a version, but that's exactly how I can look at it. And if you record your um, iPad as you're doing it, you can see to a degree how accurate it's getting to the target that you originally set it. And that's what I did here, for example. So if we do another example, so here's um, the Elephant Trunk Nebula, IC 1396A. And again, you can see here it's moving to the target. And again, it's very close on the deck and it's four seconds out on the RA. So again, that's pretty impressive. And I'm pretty pleased with how good it's doing on that. And again, it's just waiting to target. And uh, on this particular one, I'm still in preview mode. Clearly the, the uh, telescope was moving a little bit there. So I'll take another image and we can see that it then has a more sharper image um, of the stars, just waiting for it to come through. There we go. So now what I can do is I can now get ready to uh, set off and take my imaging through the plan mode that I wanted to do with this particular one or, or even the um, auto run. Um, so that just shows you that you can look at it actually live on the IS Air, either the Pro or the Plus. Now here's the elephant trunk and the flaming star. And again, this is uh, another plan that I'd set up. And this time I'm doing, I think, the elephant trunk on a uh, vertical rather than a horizontal. But again, if I go into the plan and set it running again, we can see as it sets off, again, how accurate it is. And again, you can see it's moving around on both the deck and the RA. The, the deck will get in first, 57, 34, 44. And you can see on the RA, it's coming around to the 2135. And it's saying it's slightly out at 21 seconds there versus 20. Again, if that's one second out, then that's really dead on and a lot better than I've previously seen on many of the uh, earlier versions, if you see some of my earlier videos. So I'm pretty impressed with how it's showing here live on the ASI Air Pro. But of course, the test of everything is really to go back and look at it in detail when we see it through some of the coordinate calculations. I just thought I'd show you, this is the actual image of the elephant trunk I got. And again, this is using my new Esprit 120ED, so really pleased with that, but uh, pretty accurate. So if we go back to the M33, so this was the M33 I took originally, and you can see I'm putting down the coordinates on the left-hand side here. Those from Telescopius, which are J2000, the SI Pro, which is J now, and the Astrometry, which is J2000. And you can see comparing the two J2000s, the plan from Telescopius and the actual, were only four seconds out on each of those, which is pretty impressive. Now, this is the first elephant trunk I did which was uh, kind of a sideways elephant trunk. And again, now I've put in the same set of coordinates. And again, if I compare the J2000 on Telescopius to the Astrometry, I'm only 12 seconds out on the RA and no seconds out on the deck. So again, pretty pleased with that. Here's that first elephant trunk uh, on the horizontal version. And again, if I look at the uh, testing between the original Telescopius and Astrometry, I'm just four seconds out on the RA and 15 seconds on the deck. And as you know, the deck is uh, more tolerant because uh, of the scale of it. So 
that is very accurate. And then here's the first flaming star that I did. Uh, and again, putting that into the database, you can see I'm very, very close, only five seconds out on the RA and zero on the deck. And of course, all this is a little bit dependent on how good is the actual plate solving of any of the products that we're using here. But to me, it's showing that it's pretty accurate. And if I go into the second uh, elephant trunk I did, this was a couple of nights later. Um, again, this time, right down the bottom there, you can see I'm zero on the RA difference and only one second out on the deck. So that is pretty spot on and therefore pretty impressed with what ZWO have done to improve the accuracy. And if we go to the final image this time, which is the flaming star, the second time I did that, two nights later, again, you can see I'm only five seconds out on the RA and two seconds on the deck. So all of that, to me, proves that ZWO really have aimed to improve the accuracy of their go-to plate solving for when you go to a target image. And you can see that when I summarize now. So here's an example I did a while ago from the Elephant Trunk Nebula. And you can see, I'm showing you the same, the Telescopius, the ASI Air Pro, and the Astrometry. But really, we're just really comparing the J2000 Astrometry against the Telescopius. And you can see in this example, on the RA, we were 44 seconds out and 20 seconds out on the deck. And on the first pane of that image, and on the second pane, we were nine uh, seconds out and 32 seconds out on the deck. So that was quite a bit of difference. Now, if I go to another example that I think I showed on a previous video, this was when I did the Orion and Horsehead Nebula. And again, Telescopius at the top, the ASAR Pro. And then I had a number of setups I did with the uh, Astrometry uh, to check it. And again, you can see here on, on three different versions, Whilst the RA wasn't too bad, it was 13, 3, and 3. The deck was 7, 17, and 25 on the first pane, which was the uh, Orion. And on the horse head, it was uh, 4, 11, and 9, uh, 5 on the RA, and quite a bit more 58, 45, and 17 on the deck. So that was all before the new uh, firmware update. So if we now look at what we've just been looking at, so again, you can see on each of these, so very, very narrow. So only four out in seconds on the RA and four on the deck with the M33. A little bit higher here, 12 on the RA for the elephant trunk, which was the sideways one, the, the very first one I did with my new Esprit 120ED, but actually dead on for the deck. And then on the elephant trunk, when I did it horizontal, um, four off on the RA for the first one and zero for the second, 15 on the deck and only one on the deck for the second. And again, you can see the RA was five seconds and five seconds on the flaming star and zero and just two on the uh, second set I did for the flaming star. So I think this conclusively shows that the firmware update has made the plate solving targeting of the ASI Air more accurate and has got much closer. And remembering that the, the deck inaccuracy is, is less uh, problematic. It doesn't create such a bigger distortion as the RA does. So getting some very good RAs here and some very good decks. So really impressed now with uh, how ZWO have tackled that. And I think have really improved the accuracy of their targeting through plate solving for the ASI Air.